Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're looking at Topaz Gigapixel AI, specifically the cropping tool. I'm going to be using Lightroom and sending my image out of Lightroom into Gigapixel, and I'll show you how the cropping tool works from there. And I'm also going to give you some examples that you can download and look at and see the quality that Gigapixel does. Also, by the way, this is the last day of the Gigapixel sale. It's $99.99 normally it's on sale for $79.99 so this is the last day that you can take advantage of that offer today is November 6th in the year 2020 you can save an additional 15% by clicking my affiliate link in the description below and using my coupon code David Kelly at the checkout and also when you use my affiliate link I make a small commission and it helps me to keep uh, these uh, YouTube tutorials coming your way and I want to thank you in advance for that and now without any further ado let's get started here we are inside of lightroom and i have two images for you today this image of a cone flower and this other image of this uh, flower petal caught and trapped inside of these pine boughs two pretty cool images but i want to do some aggressive cropping on these images and I want to use um, Gigapixel to go ahead and upsize the images. So I'm not going to crop them in Lightroom. I'm going to crop them using uh, Gigapixel AI. And I'll show you the all new cropping tool in Gigapixel AI, which is really cool. Just to give you some backgrounds in these images, uh, they're both raw images. I just ran the auto adjustments inside of Lightroom. And for noise reduction, I always use uh, Topaz Denoise AI, as you know. But today I'm just using the uh, noise reduction right here in Lightroom and also the sharpening in Lightroom just to save some time today. Now I'm going to save these images out uh, as JPEGs. I'm going to put them on my Google Drive so that you can download these images or view them online and do some pixel peeping and see what kind of a job. Uh, Gigapixel AI does so you can really evaluate it and see if it's a product that might be right for you. Also, I always uh, open up lens corrections here and make sure I have removed chromatic aberrations checked on and enable profile corrections checked on. I'm going to do that for both of these images here. It's just like standard uh, procedure for me. We'll start out with the comb flower first, so I'm just going to click on it. Next, I'll right click on the image with my mouse and uh, go to edit in and find Gigapixel AI and give that a click. And this dialog box opens up. I'm going to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. I'm going to send it in as a TIFF. That's a real high res file, 16 bits, 300 resolution, no compression. Then all I have to do is click on edit and that'll send us into Gigapixel AI. And now we're inside of Gigapixel. Now you'll notice right now that I am set up to a four times enlargement right here. And we don't see the full image on the screen. And if we look at the viewer preview window up here, you can see I'm zoomed way in. Now to take care of this problem, because I want to see the whole image here right now, if I click on crop, you know, my, I need my image to be smaller so I can see it. So I'm going to click cancel here. So here's what you need to do. This is very important. You need to come here, see where it says 0.5x, click on that. And when you do, now you're going to be able to see the full size image. Now, right now I'm zoomed into 100%. So see where it says zoom right here, click on this. And now you can click zoom to fit. I didn't have that zoom to fit option when I was at 4x, but at uh, 0.5x, I do have the zoom to fit option. And this is very important if you're going to crop. Now, when I click on the crop tool, which is right here, click on that. Now I'll be able to make my crop. If we come up to the aspect ratio, we'll see it is set to free. This is a drop down uh, menu here. So click on this and you have all these different choices of different crop ratios. For instance, on this one, I want to do an eight by 10 crop. So I'm going to choose four by five, eight by 10. Now with free, you can make the crop any old way you would like it, but I want an eight by 10 crop. So let's click that. All right. Now, right now it's in the portrait mode. If you want it to go in the landscape mode, see these two little arrows right here. Click that. You'll change it from portrait to landscape, but I want mine in the portrait mode. So that's what I want. So I'm just going to take this crop and drag it over my cone flower here. Now I can go ahead and resize it just like pretty much like any uh, cropping tool on any piece of software. They're all pretty similar, right? So let's just make that crop the way we like it. And I think that looks really good right there. Now at this point, all I need to do is click apply. 
And here's our cropped image. And now I'm still set to the uh, 0.5x times upscale. I want to upscale this thing four times. And you'll notice right now at the bottom left of the interface, this is 1733 pixels by 2166. And uh, I want to upscale it to four times. So let me click four times here. And now you'll notice here it goes to uh, 6932 but by 8664 pixels. Now, I have to click update here. But before I do that, let me go ahead and drag my flower down to the point where I could really get a good preview here. Now, when you're viewing your image, you can view it as a single view or a side-by-side -side view. Let's view it as a side-by-side -side view right here. So the image on the left will be the original. The image on the right will be the preview of the upsizing. And let me go ahead and uh, click update here. Give it a second or two to generate an update. And so the image on the left, again, is the original. And you'll see right down here, it says original. Image on the right is the preview. My face refinement is shut off, which is good. I have no face here. Image type. Now, we have three different types. Standard, architectural, and compressed. Now, I'm not going to use compressed because that's more for like JPEGs and things uh, with low resolutions and things like that. This came in as a very high quality TIFF file, so I'm going to leave it on standard. It's not architectural, so standard. And uh, the settings, I generally try auto first and see what kind of result I get. I'm going to go ahead and click my update here. Now, you can uh, check on auto update preview if you want to. Sometimes I do that, but usually I'll just click update as I go. Then I can take a look here, and I can see there's maybe just a slight bit of noise in here. So I think I'll just add a little bit more noise reduction and click on update. Yeah, and I think that looks a little bit better. I'm going to be happy with that. Now, all I have to do at this point is click on save image, and that'll save this out, and then we'll go right back into Lightroom after that. And here we are back in Lightroom with our upsized cropped image from Gigapixel AI. Now let's go ahead and uh, zoom into 100%. As you can see, we have a beautiful rendered image right here. Very nice and sharp, beautiful, looks really nice. And here was the original image that it came from. So it came from here and went to here, all with the help of Gigapixel AI. Here's our second image, and to save a little bit of time in this video, because you've already seen me process the first uh, image using Gigapixel AI, I went ahead and processed this image, and I came up with this result after a very tight, aggressive crop. In the description below this video, you're going to find a link to my Google Drive where you can view these images, the before crop and the after crop images, so you can do pixel peeping. You can download those images if you want, or you can view them online. I'm going to just put them up as JPEGs because it seems to work better for downloading and viewing. It takes less time, all right? So you're going to have uh, this original image here in a JPEG, the original crop, I should say, not the original image because it was a raw file. And then here will be its crop. And then I'll have this image right here as well as its crop. And so you'll be able to do some pixel peeping and see what kind of quality Gigapixel AI does. And I think you'll agree with me, it does a great job. Now, please leave comments and questions in the comment section below. I'd really love to hear from you. Let me know what you think of Gigapixel. Any thoughts, questions, anything, please let me know. Well, there it is, everyone. Today, we use Lightroom, sent a full-sized image from Lightroom into Topaz Gigapixel AI, use the all-new crop tool, crop the image aggressively, and then we upsize the image four times, sent it back into Lightroom. And this is a really great workflow, and I, I think you're really going to enjoy it. Now, you can also use the all-new crop tool inside of Gigapixel when you're using Gigapixel as a standalone app. Now, when you're using Gigapixel as a plugin inside of Photoshop, the crop tool is grayed out. You can't use it there. So right now you can use it from Lightroom or you can use it from uh, Gigapixel as a standalone app. And if anyone out there knows any other ways you can use it, please let us know in the comments section below. Well, hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you will be notified about it. And just a reminder, one last time, Gigapixel, this is the last day of the sale. Today's November 6th in the year 2020. It's normally $99.99. It's on sale for $79.99. And again, if you use my affiliate link, it's in the description below. Click on that. 
And at the checkout, use my promo code, David Kelly. That's all one word, David Kelly. You'll save an additional 15% savings, which is really nice. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.